Today I will talk to you about elasticity. Now what is elasticity? Elasticity means how change occur in one variable with respect to another variable. If there is no change, then we call it zero elastic and if there is a change, it's positively elastic or negatively elastic. This elasticity is generally expressed by this E, E for elasticity, if E greater than zero, that is positively elastic, E less than zero, that is negatively elastic, E equal to zero, that is no elasticity. Okay. In general, how to proceed with elasticity? There are three basic types of elasticity that I will introduce today. First is an income elasticity. Sorry, first is a price elasticity, let me tell you. Price elasticity means how price changes and your demand changes. So that is expressed in this way E equal to dq by dp into p by q. dq by dp into p by q, in general, it is calculated from demand curve of a particular product. This is very simple. In most of the books, you will see they put a mod sign, sometimes they put a greater than sign, sometimes they by default put a minus, you don't have to do anything. Your equation will tell you. So if you have an equation that q equal to 2p plus 4, so you directly do it dq by dp, this will give you this 2. So this value will be the actual elasticity value. So while in doing in equations, this type of equations in examination, never assume that this value is positive or negative. Just proceed with the equation, the equation leads you there. So now this is all about the price elasticity. Next is income elasticity. What is income elasticity? How? If your income changes, your demand changes. In general, income increases or demand increases. So for a normal product, elasticity of price is negative. So here also, this is dq by di into i by q. In general, this is greater than zero for normal product. And for relatively inferior products, less than zero for inferior. Okay. Now, income elasticity is expressed by sometimes ei, ei or em. If you write it i, you write i. If you write m, this is as ep. Now going to the third elasticity and that is cross price elasticity. So what is the cross price elasticity? So for example, if price of a product changes, what happens with its related products quantity demand? For example, this is expressed as dq1 by dp2 into p2 by q1. So what happens if Think about any two closely related products, for example, Lux soap and Dove soap. So certainly Lux increases their price. So people are not interested to buy Lux. Like they are increased from 20 rupees to 60 rupees. And they still at 20 rupees. So what will happen? Suddenly their price increases, so their quantity increases. So in general, cross price elasticity for two substitutes is greater than zero. PC greater than zero for substitute and EC is less than zero for complements. So this is all about elasticity and you can proceed with any type of question with the formulas like coin income, cross price and uh, price elasticity.